seriously, I mean this is not even carbon fiber. Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to a new vlog. Today we're about to make some photos with a lot of girls, right? Yeah, that's, exactly. That's the plan. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty nice girls no, over there. Un unfortunately, no girls. But we have the action camera. Your room looks very professional, especially especially this thing here. Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> Just a small camera. Normally, I shoot a lot of girls, so <laughs> I'm usually gonna join. I'm like holding holding something. Exactly. <laughs> I'm glad I'm holding the camera as well. Yeah. <laughs> you, you ready? Yeah, you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Let's uh, do it. Good. Good. Not sure how it would feel like as a model here, but <laughs> it must be pretty comfortable. I'm back home and today I want to review a special board which is on Indie, no, on Kickstarter right now. So I just charged it up and I want to show you real quick what's in the box. That's the board, King Kong board by the way. Um, what's in the box? Nothing special like, you know, cables, everything you need, um, no extra wheels, nothing else. But I gotta say for the price, this is actually amazing. This board is $300. I have the single motor here. It feels a little bit heavy for that. I think it has a really big battery because they say it has a range of like 12 and a half miles. I'm standing on it for the first time now. And I gotta say, it has no concave. And do you guys know what I think about carbon fiber electric skateboards? I do not personally like them that much. But anyway, I want to review them completely today. I don't understand why it has a nose. By the way, before I start off, that whole manual here is in Chinese. I, I can't read anything here. I'm just saying, like, I'm trying to figure out how to get, like, into the fast mode. Um, because I can't find any button on the remote. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to change the speed mode. I just figured out how to change to the fast mode and it's definitely a lot faster even with the single motor. But I still have some problems like let me let me show you. When I use the brakes, it's still braking. See? Like it's just delayed and that's the problem what I have with it. Super dangerous, super dangerous. You know, I understand that this is a prototype, but when I look at the campaign, it looks like they're done and I I mean, I would like to give them a chance. But they would definitely need to change a lot of stuff here. So, I'm at my favorite hill with my car. And when you see my car here, you know something is wrong with this board. And I'm also wearing a helmet. This is just a single motor and super slow. But I'm already super afraid of going down this hill. Because I want to test, I want to test the brakes. And that's what I'm doing with every board. This is just... It's delayed as well. Like everything is... Nothing is basically working. It's just not ready to be reviewed. This board is not ready and it, <laughs> I'm fully breaking like don't understand me wrong. I mean shit, shit. <laughs> Oh my god Oh my god, I'm seriously afraid of this of this. This is crap. This is seriously. I'm so sorry about that I'm not making reviews to tell you that this board is sh but if it is what else can I do? I mean, it's insane for the price. I mean, it's $300. That's actually pretty amazing Why does it have a nose? I'm definitely not gonna make a range test with this board This is I'm not gonna drive this for 12 and a half miles. So there's actually another reason why this company picked me off so much. They compared the King Kong board to other boards and you know like the Riptide it's saying up to 18 top speed up to 18 miles per hour and it's obviously going like 22. You know I know every board on the market this is just if you really compare your board to someone else you just don't lie I mean why why do you need to do it I mean the price is saying everything you know ah uh, this is this is just f this is a 25 percent hill i'm on the single belt motor and they're not saying like how steep it's going up but like you know i brought my my fake evolve board like up this hill and i know that it's like on the on the slow-mo right now and i know that it's not gonna get but like that was not even 10 percent right here i mean like i got like a lot of single belt motor electric skateboards up this hill and i even got like the Lubort 1.0 up this hill not all the way up but at least a little bit it's a startup i know they're gonna, they're gonna improve the board but that's exactly what i'm not gonna do i mean they didn't even send me like a message that this board is not finished or anything like this so one good thing the price but Let's see how it's doing like like just going straight. The brakes are definitely not strong enough. I like the remote controller though. They've done a really good job on this one. 
but hey this is not worth 300 dollars look the problem here is it's a carbon fiber board that's like the biggest problem it has no concave that's another problem for me it has razor pads i know why because of because of the the belt motor you need some space in between and because you have the battery placed on that whole board and the motherboard or whatever it is and this is just not gonna work out it's like too far from the ground in my opinion i mean i'm not gonna tell you this this board is good if it's like just if it sucks i mean what should i i, I, I don't want to lie i don't want to i don't know what what i should review of this board it's just not good it's not worth 300 dollars. it's not going faster than this it's a failure over overall and you know like the board itself is like super flat it needs like it you know a tail needs to go up the nose needs to go up a little bit as well otherwise it's just gonna feel weird and you're gonna feel more comfortable if it's lower to the ground and you're standing in between like a concave and those razor pads you need to get out of there they're like they're like this thick or something let me not get started here i want to i want to review today another board as well but yeah 299 i think it's a good price but i i think you know the loop board 1.0 is definitely better than this one seriously it's faster it's getting up hills better it's not that heavy you can change the battery i like i mean it, the loop board also is not perfect but it's definitely better than this one it's not that heavy as well so i'm just saying if you want to get like a carbon fiber electric skateboard in my opinion just don't get it don't get it please don't get me wrong guys this has nothing to do with my own electric skateboard so yeah i didn't fully charge this up but this is basically like an ion board x so um it's like a rebrand as well it's feeling longer it's definitely longer than the last one hey that's a huge difference it's working let's see i mean the team board i got up this hill and it was pretty much the same hill so yeah this is base this is doing a lot better than the other board of course because it's it's more expensive it's probably like 600 dollars i didn't check it you know there's a difference if you change to the fast mode you're getting up hills way way better because it's accelerating better hey i feel like i'm getting up this hill this is 25% skateboard electric skateboard 25% it's true yep this is accelerating as the iron board x it feels pretty much like the same i didn't expect me to review this for today so i didn't check it it's definitely longer so i'm feeling super comfortable on here oh my god and it's fast that's what i like you know don't spend 300 if you can spend 500 to 600 dollars and you get a board like this I mean this is worth it seriously and I just like everything about it and obviously this is a rebrand but it doesn't mean that that like I am board is making the exact same board like this one is a little bit longer they're using like different wheels different wheel size different batteries there's a lot of stuff you can customize you need like a certain amount of orders to be able to customize stuff all right i'm really happy to say that nothing is wrong with the skateboard board everything is amazing really good concave i like that it's a little bit longer than the timo board or iron board x that's definitely a bigger difference it also has a little bit of a better range well this board right here is 599 so it's a little more expensive than the other boards the timo board by the way is 399 there's nothing wrong with this board you should check out my other review you'll find all the links in the description now i want to talk about the king kong king kong board again <laughs> all right i just figured out so much stuff about this board about this company they're full of shit seriously i mean this is not even carbon fiber let me let me show you real quick this is actually just plastic <laughs> so i mean i don't know if you can hear it or if you, if you can really see it but here i mean look at this i mean this is not even like 10 percent. this is like a five percent hill this is not even look it's delayed as well like i'm not even breaking and the board is breaking like there's just everything is wrong with, with it i don't know what to say i mean here <laughs> that's just what i wanted to say here's another detail that tail is just not long enough I mean it's just too steep somehow you know i mean it's working at least with this board but you know why would you make a handle on the, on the tail it makes no sense i mean you want to pick up the board like this right and you have it in your hand they didn't think about this board seriously i'm done i'm done i want to go home <laughs> whoa at the skate park back at the skate park and it feels weird i gotta get back into skating now you understand english 
Yup, that's a very old Nali heel flip. By the way, my action camera is back online. I got a message from Kickstarter saying that they're not gonna send me a message. Super weird, don't know what's going on. I know that I did a lot of mistakes. It's probably because it was online on my website. You definitely don't do that. Um, yeah, everything should be cool now. I read the guidelines, everything is fine. It's back online, link in the description. And now I wanna show you some rough footage. Yep, I know there was some color grading, it doesn't matter though, but you've heard the sound and that's good. I mean, it's a, it could be still better, but it's, it's still good, I'm still gonna improve the camera. So yeah, I really hope for your support and I'm, go I'm still gonna make a review, a full review. You'll see the review in the next three days, hopefully. And yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. I'm also gonna send it to a couple of YouTubers, by the way. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see each other, hopefully, in the next two days. Bye bye.